I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Today, I'd like to share on how to embellish plain soaps. I used zip bags as improvised piping bags while my collaboration partner, soap sister Elizabeth White, embellished her soap using brush embroidery technique. This is my first collaboration video for the year! Here is a photo of her beautiful soap. Remember to watch her video and visit her channel. I'll put the link in the description box below. Thank you so much, Soap Sister, for collaborating with me. I had so much fun in working with you in this project. I hope we can have more collaborations in the future. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, Please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon for a weekly soap making tips and tricks, DIY tutorials, or recipe sharing from me. Soap making is my passion so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. And if you are here from Soap Sister Elizabeth's channel, thank you for joining us today. I hope to see you again next week. So, let's get started! Both lye and oil are in room temperature now, so we can slowly and carefully pour the 37% lye solution into the oil. Then, we need to properly mix the solution using a stick blender or in my case, I am doing my no stick blender technique so I'll just give it a gentle hand steering to obtain an emulsion. As you can see, as I continue to steer, the solution will thicken. Visually, you will notice that when I move the spatula back and forth, it leaves a trail mark on top of the solution. And that is what we call trace. Now we can pour the soap into zip bags, remove any excess air inside, close the bag and twist it into one side, secure with a clip or a cable tie. Next, cut the end of the zip bag and we are ready to pipe. Design number one. I created a total of eight designs. 6 donuts and 2 square soap but I can only share the making of 6 designs because my camera went low battery so I don't have the footage of the other 2 designs.
Design number two. Design number three. Design number four.
Design number 5. And last but not the least, design number 6. For the question of the week, which is your preferred design among the 6 designs that I shared today? Let me know by writing it down in the comment section below so you can help me to shortlist one design and I can make more of that to share to my friends as gifts.
Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed what I shared, please leave a like and a comment below. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep you posted of my weekly uploads. Until next time, bye-bye and happy birthday to those who will be celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!